Did you know that mastering your mind is the ultimate key to a life of peace and power? Most of us spend our days battling stress, chasing happiness, or trying to control things beyond our reach. But what if I told you there's a way to break free from this cycle? A philosophy so powerful it's been guiding some of history's greatest minds for centuries. This isn't about quick fixes or lofty promises. It's about ancient Stoic wisdom, a time-tested approach that can transform the way you think, act and live. Whether you're dealing with overwhelming challenges, striving for clarity in a chaotic world, or simply seeking inner calm, this philosophy holds the answers. If you want to unlock the strength to weather life storms and find lasting contentment, you need to learn how to embrace what you can control, cultivate resilience and find peace through gratitude. These aren't just ideas, they're practical steps you can start applying today to create a life of meaning, purpose and serenity. Let's dive into these transformative principles and discover how they can help you overcome obstacles, rise above distractions and live with unshakable confidence. The answers are simpler and more powerful than you might think. Number one, embrace what you can control. Imagine waking up to a sunny morning where everything seems to go as planned. You feel productive, energized, and in complete control of your day. But suddenly, something disrupts the flow. Perhaps an unexpected phone call, a traffic jam, or a rude comment from someone. The happiness you felt moments ago starts to wane and irritation creeps in. This is the reality many of us face daily, the struggle to maintain composure when life doesn't play by our rules. Yet, the ancient Stoics had a powerful remedy for this, the art of focusing only on what lies within your control. At its core, Stoicism teaches that there are two domains in life, things you can control and things you cannot. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, often emphasized this principle, stating, some things are up to us and some things are not. Your thoughts, actions, choices and attitudes belong to the first category, while external events, others' opinions and even the weather belong to the second. When you let go of the need to control what isn't yours to command, you free yourself from unnecessary frustration. Think back to a moment in your life when you felt utterly powerless. Maybe it was during a heated argument where no matter how much you tried to explain yourself, the other person just wouldn't see your point of view. Or perhaps it was a job interview where you gave it your all, only to learn later that you didn't get the position. These experiences can feel like personal failures, but Stoicism reframes them. The Stoic perspective reminds us that the only thing we truly control in such moments is our reaction. Instead of feeling defeated, we can choose acceptance and growth. Doesn't that make you wonder? What if you could channel all the energy wasted on things outside your control into improving yourself and mastering your inner world? This isn't about indifference to life's challenges, but about clarity. Once you internalize this lesson, your emotional freedom expands. The next time you encounter a frustrating situation, you'll pause, assess whether it's within your control, and respond wisely. By practicing this mindset daily, you transform into someone who thrives amidst chaos, radiating calmness and strength. Number two, the power of acceptance. Picture a peaceful afternoon stroll through a park. The breeze is soft, the sunlight dapples through the trees, and children's laughter echoes in the distance. This idyllic scene is suddenly interrupted by a slight drizzle. Some people might panic, running for shelter, while others might continue walking, unbothered by the rain. The difference lies in their ability to accept what's happening. Acceptance, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, doesn't mean resignation. It means understanding that life's events are often neutral until we label them as good or bad. The Stoics believed that resistance to what is creates suffering. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor, 
wrote in his meditations, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Life often surprises us with setbacks, a canceled plan, a missed opportunity, or even something more serious like an illness. While our initial reaction may be frustration or sadness, Stoicism teaches us to pause and reflect. The event itself isn't the problem our perception of it is. Let's revisit a memory from your own life. Maybe there was a time you were stuck in an unavoidable situation, a delayed flight or a flat tire on a busy day. Initially, it felt like the universe was conspiring against you, right? But when you look back now, perhaps you realize that the situation wasn't as catastrophic as it felt in the moment. Maybe it gave you time to read a book, call a friend, or simply pause and breathe. Acceptance isn't about loving every hardship, but about finding peace within it. Doesn't this idea intrigue you? Imagine how life would change if you could meet every challenge with grace instead of resistance. It's not about denying pain or disappointment, but about acknowledging their presence without letting them consume you. This practice doesn't come easily, but over time it shapes you into a person who flows with life's unpredictability rather than fighting against it. The rain, after all, is just rain. Whether you enjoy it or fear it is entirely up to you. Number three, practice mindfulness. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine a quiet evening. You're sitting on a porch, a warm cup of tea in hand, as the world around you slows down. The crickets chirp softly, the stars begin to twinkle, and for a brief moment you feel entirely present. No worries about tomorrow, no regrets from yesterday. It's a fleeting feeling, but it's also one of the most profound gifts we can give ourselves, mindfulness. In a world full of distractions and endless noise, the practice of being fully present is both a refuge and a superpower. For the Stoics, mindfulness wasn't just a meditative state, it was an active engagement with the present moment. They believed that a life worth living is one where every action is deliberate, every thought examined, and every experience embraced. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Concentrate every minute like a Roman, like a man, on doing what's in front of you with precise and genuine seriousness. This isn't about perfectionism, it's about presence. Whether you're folding laundry, eating a meal or working on a project, mindfulness transforms mundane tasks into meaningful moments. Think back to your childhood. Do you remember a time when life felt slower, more vivid? Maybe it was a summer afternoon spent lying in the grass, watching clouds drift by, or a holiday meal where every flavor seemed to dance on your tongue. As children, we naturally lived in the moment, savoring life's small pleasures. But as adults, we often rush from one task to another, lost in a haze of to-do lists and future worries. Mindfulness is a way to reclaim that childlike wonder and appreciation for the here and now. Aren't you curious about how this could reshape your daily life? Imagine turning off your phone during dinner and truly savoring every bite of food. Picture yourself pausing during a busy day to notice the warmth of the sun on your skin or the rhythm of your breath. These small practices might seem trivial, but they have the power to ground you, reduce stress, and bring joy back into your routine. Mindfulness isn't about escaping reality, it's about diving deeply into it, appreciating every moment for the gift it is. Number four, cultivate resilience. Picture a young sapling swaying in a storm. The winds are strong, the rain relentless, yet the sapling bends without breaking. When the storm passes, it stands tall, even stronger than before. This image mirrors the resilience we must cultivate to navigate life's storms. Resilience isn't about avoiding hardship, but about adapting, recovering, and growing stronger because of it. It's a vital skill, one the Stoics valued deeply, and one that can transform your life. 
The Stoics believed that resilience stems from understanding that adversity is an inevitable part of life. Marcus Aurelius wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Life doesn't promise smooth sailing, but it does offer the chance to grow through challenges. Resilience is built by shifting your mindset from one of victimhood to one of empowerment. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? You begin to ask, what can I learn from this? Think back to a moment in your life when you faced a significant challenge. Maybe it was the loss of a job, a health scare, or a painful breakup. At the time, it may have felt like the end of the world. But as you look back now, you might realize that those hardships taught you valuable lessons about strength, patience, or even self-worth. They shaped who you are today. This reflection is a testament to your resilience, even if you didn't recognize it then. Now imagine how life could change if you consciously built resilience as a skill. Each setback would become an opportunity to strengthen your character. By embracing discomfort and facing fears head on, you'd develop the mental toughness needed to weather any storm. The Stoics remind us that while we can't control life's trials, we can always control how we rise from them. With resilience, you become unshakable, a sapling that grows into an unyielding oak. Number five, choose your response wisely. Imagine being stuck in traffic on a busy morning. Horns are blaring, the clock is ticking, and your frustration is mounting. It's easy to lash out, perhaps cursing under your breath or honking in anger. But what if instead you paused and chose to respond with patience? This choice may seem small, but it holds immense power. The ability to choose your response is one of the greatest freedoms we have, and the Stoics believed it to be essential for a life of wisdom and peace. Epictetus emphasized this idea when he said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Life will always throw curveballs, from minor annoyances to major crises, but your response determines whether you find peace or prolong suffering. Choosing your response wisely requires self-awareness and emotional control, skills that grow with practice. Reflect on a time when you reacted impulsively, only to regret it later. Maybe it was a heated argument with a loved one or a snap decision made in anger. These moments teach us the importance of pausing before reacting. By taking a step back, you give yourself the space to choose a response that aligns with your values rather than being driven by fleeting emotions. Aren't you curious about how this practice could transform your relationships and daily interactions? Imagine approaching conflicts with calmness, handling criticism with grace, or turning frustration into empathy. Each response becomes a reflection of your character, and over time, you build a reputation as someone who radiates composure and wisdom. The Stoics remind us that while we can't control the world around us, we can master the way we respond to it, and that mastery is a key to lasting peace. Number six, limit excessive desires. Picture a minimalist living room, clean lines, simple furniture, and no clutter in sight. There's a sense of calm and clarity in such simplicity. Now, contrast this with the chaos of overindulgence, a room crammed with items, each vying for attention. The latter is a metaphor for how excessive desires can overwhelm our lives. The Stoics believed that true happiness lies not in acquiring more, but in wanting less. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, wrote, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. Desires, when left unchecked, can become a source of endless dissatisfaction. The more you have, the more you want, creating a cycle that leaves you feeling empty rather than fulfilled. By limiting excessive desires, you free yourself from this trap and make space for what truly matters. Think back to a time when you saved up for something you thought would bring lasting happiness. 
perhaps a new gadget, a car, or even a vacation. While the initial joy might have been real, how long did it last? More often than not, material possessions and fleeting pleasures fail to provide the deep contentment we seek. This realization can be a turning point, prompting us to shift our focus from external gains to internal riches. Doesn't this perspective make you wonder? What if you could find joy in simplicity, in appreciating what you already have? By curbing excessive desires, you cultivate gratitude, contentment, and a sense of freedom. The Stoics teach that wealth isn't about having much, but about needing little. When you adopt this mindset, you unlock a profound sense of satisfaction that no possession can ever match. Number 7. Be virtuous in daily actions. Imagine waking up each morning with a clear purpose to do good, to act with integrity, and to leave the world a little better than you found it. This is the essence of living virtuously, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. The Stoics believed that virtue, qualities like wisdom, courage, justice and temperance, is the highest good and the key to a fulfilling life. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This advice urges us to focus less on lofty ideals and more on practical actions. Living virtuously isn't about perfection, but about striving to align your actions with your values each day. It's about choosing kindness over cruelty, honesty over deceit, and courage over fear, even in the smallest moments. Reflect on a time when you did something purely out of goodness, perhaps helping a stranger, standing up for someone, or making a tough decision because it was the right thing to do. How did it feel? Acts of virtue often bring a deep sense of fulfillment, far greater than the fleeting pleasure of selfish pursuits. They remind us of our shared humanity and our ability to make a positive impact. Aren't you intrigued by how these small daily actions could ripple outwards, influencing not just your own life, but the lives of those around you? By committing to virtue, you become a beacon of integrity in a world that often values shortcuts and self-interest. The Stoics remind us that a good life isn't measured by wealth or status, but by the character we build through our actions. Number 8. Understand the transitory nature of life. Picture a sandcastle on a beach. It's beautifully crafted, a marvel of patience and creativity. Yet as the tide comes in, the waves gently wash it away. This fleeting beauty mirrors the nature of life itself, transient, ever-changing and ultimately impermanent. The Stoics understood this deeply teaching us to embrace the transitory nature of life rather than fearing it. Epictetus said, when you kiss your child goodnight, whisper to yourself, they may be gone tomorrow. While this may seem harsh, it's a reminder to cherish what we have while we have it. Life's impermanence isn't meant to inspire despair, but to cultivate gratitude and presence. By accepting that everything is temporary, we learn to value the moment and let go of attachment to outcomes. Think back to a time when you lost something or someone dear to you. The pain was real, but over time, it may have taught you to appreciate the moments you did have with them. This understanding that nothing lasts forever can be a source of profound wisdom, helping you prioritize what truly matters in life. Doesn't this perspective make you curious about how you might live differently? Imagine cherishing your loved ones as if each moment with them were your last. Picture pursuing your passions without fear of failure, knowing that the journey itself is what counts. The Stoics remind us that life's impermanence is its greatest gift, urging us to live fully and authentically. Number 9. Turn obstacles into opportunities. Imagine a river blocked by a fallen tree. At first glance, the obstacle seems insurmountable, but over time, the water finds its way around, carving new paths and continuing its flow. 
This natural resilience mirrors the stoic principle of turning obstacles into opportunities. Instead of being defeated by challenges, we can use them as stepping stones to growth and success. Marcus Aurelius famously said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This mindset shifts your perspective on hardship. Every challenge becomes a chance to develop new skills, strengthen your character, or discover a hidden opportunity. Obstacles aren't barriers, they're teachers. Reflect on a time when you faced a major setback. Maybe it was a career failure, a broken relationship, or a personal disappointment. While painful in the moment, perhaps it led you to a better path, a new job, a deeper relationship, or a stronger sense of self. These experiences remind us that growth often comes from struggle. Doesn't this idea excite you? What if every obstacle in your life became a chance to reinvent yourself, to prove your resilience, and to achieve something greater? The Stoics remind us that life's challenges aren't meant to break us, but to shape us. By embracing this perspective, you turn every setback into a stepping stone on your journey to greatness. Number 10. Find peace. Through gratitude, imagine standing at the edge of a breathtaking vista, the sun setting in a blaze of colors. In that moment, you feel a profound sense of gratitude, not for anything specific, but simply for being alive. This feeling, the Stoics believed, is the foundation of true peace. Gratitude isn't about ignoring life's struggles, it's about recognizing the beauty and blessings that exist even amid hardship. Seneca wrote, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant. It's a reminder that no matter how difficult life gets, there is always something to be thankful for. Think about the last time you felt genuinely grateful. Maybe it was for a kind gesture, a moment of laughter, or simply a quiet morning with a cup of coffee. These small moments, often overlooked, are the threads that weave a life of contentment. Gratitude teaches us to see the extraordinary in the ordinary. Aren't you curious about how this practice could transform your daily life? Imagine starting each day by listing three things you're grateful for. As we wrap up, remember, mastering your inner world is the first step toward transforming your outer world. By embracing stoic principles, you're not just learning a philosophy, you're forging a mindset that will empower you to navigate life's challenges with strength and clarity. These are not just ideas, they're tools for building a life of purpose, peace, and resilience. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows you're part of the rare 0.01% who are truly committed to personal growth and finishing what they start. If you're ready to keep evolving and take charge of your life, make sure to join us by subscribing to the channel. Together, we'll continue this journey toward a stronger, better you.